the circle of fifths explained. Let's start by drawing a circle. Not too bad. We'll need four tick marks now. A north, a south, east, and a west. And now we have four quadrants. One, two, three, and four. Each quadrant will need two more tick marks. Now start by asking yourself, what key has no sharps, no flats? That's right, C. C major has no sharps, no flats. On a keyboard, it is all the white keys starting from C up to the octave C. C major, the key with no sharps or flats. Let's count up a perfect fifth from C. One, two, three, four, five. We get to our next key, the key of G major. G major has one sharp in it. What is that sharp? The first sharp is F. A G major scale is performed by going G up to the octave G with only one sharp, which is F. F sharp. To discover our next key, we need to go up a perfect fifth. G, A, B, C, D. And that brings us to the key of D major. D major has two sharps in it. They are F sharp and C sharp. F sharp. C sharp. And our circle must continue. What is a perfect fifth above D? Did you guess right? A is a perfect fifth above D. A major has three sharps in it. They are F, C, and G. C sharp, F sharp, G sharp. As we travel up our circle by perfect fifths, we arrive at our next key, E major. E major has four sharps, which are F, C, G, and D. F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp. Let's travel up another perfect fifth from the key of E. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. B major is our next key. The key of B major has five sharps in it. Those sharps are F, C, G, D, and A. C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. Now we need to go up another perfect fifth from the note B, but it's important to remember that B major has F, C, G, D, and A sharp in it. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp. I can't stress how important that sharp sign is. It is not the key of F major, it's the key of F sharp major. F sharp major has six sharps. They are F, C, G, D, A, and E. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, oops, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp. That's a lot of sharps. Starting at the key of C, we've been moving up by perfect fifths to discover each new key. But we could go the other direction and change that interval to perfect fourths. Now, let's start counting up from C major, but only by fourths this time. One, two, three, four. You know what note that is? 
We are at F major. We have arrived at our very first key using flats instead of sharps. The key of F major has one flat in it, and we better write these down. Our first flat is going to be B flat. B flat. Now before we go up a perfect fourth from F, it's really important to remember that F major has one flat in it and that's B flat. It's so important, I'm gonna say it again. Remember that F major has one flat in it and that is B flat. Let's go up a perfect fourth. And we arrive at our next key, B flat major. B flat has two flats in it. They are B flat and E flat. B flat, E flat, another B flat. And let's continue our climb of perfect fourths. B flat, C, D, E flat. The key of E flat major has three flats. Those flats are B flat, E flat, and A flat. E flat, A flat, B flat. Let's keep this perfect fourth party going. E flat, F, G, A flat. The key of A flat major has four flats in it. They are B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. A flat, B flat, D flat, E flat. So what is a perfect fourth above A flat? Did you guess right? D flat major has five flats in it. They are B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. D flat, E flat, G flat, A flat, B flat. One last perfect fourth to travel. Let's start on that D flat. One, two, three, four. We arrive at the inharmonic spelling of F sharp, G flat major. G flat major has six flats in it, and they are B, E, A, D, G, and C. G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, D flat, E flat, Notice that this circle only produced one, two, three, four, five, six sharps and one, two, three, four, five, six flats. I know that there are seven sharps and seven flats. Let's add these in. B is our last sharp. Now let's add our last flat. F. Notice the pattern. The sharps and flats are in inverse order of each other. This leaves us with a dilemma. Look at the circle. What key would have all sharps or all flats? If C major has no sharps, C sharp major will have all the sharps. And C flat major will have all the flats. Congratulations, you've gone through the entire circle of fifths. Well, thanks for watching my video. If you feel like you learned something, click subscribe. Maybe even give it a thumbs up. My name is Matt, 
And I hope this video inspires you to get out of that C major rut you might be in and start exploring those other keys. And like all good things, this video must come to an end. We'll see you next time at the American Home Studio.